Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways, um, this is just going to be more of a regular vlog type video as far as that goes. So, anyways, um, as far as, uh, Garfi passing away, I think there might have been subtle signs here and there that, that he might leave the physical realm or whatever you would have called it, <laughs> you know, and... One instance, I think it was about a couple of weeks ago when we were heading back somewhere and we were just about to turn onto the street to get to the house and, and I saw like a cat walking across the street, you know, and I thought that was like Simon as far as that goes, but it was somebody else. Yeah. So, anyways, um, and in that dream that I was talking about, there where Dad and I were riding on a bus, and he was sitting in front of me. Yeah. And the bus was on the other street and that we had to turn on that street to get to the main street to get to the street to the house as far as that goes so that was one of the things I have to also mention here so anyways and then it was just a about maybe like a day or two before Garfi had passed away was when uh, I dreamt of seeing Simon as far as that goes but I don't know if Simon's already passed or not you know but in a way maybe he is as well and he's also just uh, letting me know there too you know what I mean? So, anyways, as far as that goes, you know, I was like watching those videos of what they call like pet communicators or pet psychics, and as far as that goes, and. You can call it as you will, but in some ways it's like the, the kind of see things, you know, it's just like with any other psychics and all of that, or spiritual mediums and all of that. And in a way, it's like, pets also kind of, you know, give you like the same signs, you know, from the beyond, just as much as like humans do. You know, when it's, other, when it's loved ones that are human and all that, they'll give you signs from beyond and all of that to let you know that they're okay as far as that goes. So, that was like another thing there. And considering all of that... I think there's a lot of other people that also tend to watch certain shows like that, that that deal with death on a regular basis, you know, you know, whether if it was um, Six Feet Under, or like Touched by an Angel, or The Ghost Whisperer, something of that sort, yeah. Because, like, death can be a bit scary, and, and there's a lot of this unknown when it comes to that. Yeah? And I completely forgot about this, but then this was, like, a, 
also in, in relation to all of that because um, there was this one guy that was um, walking in Toronto in the neighborhood of uh, St. Jamestown and that was where the video for Thief by Early Peace was filmed in and the same James Town, uh, James James Town, Saint James Town, you know, neighborhood. When you see like the video there, like you see those apartment buildings in the background, it's all like Saint James Town, you know. And the whole story about thief was um, the lead singer, Rain, and his wife, Chantal Krivizek, they befriended a few people, and then there was this one girl, I think her name was Mina Kim, and this was back about 98 or 99, and she had a brain tumor, and then she had passed away from it and she was only seven and so that song thief was like the inspiration of all that there and then there was another song that Chantal Krivizic had wrote called M which was about that girl Mina Kim so that was like the thing there you know what I mean? And then that other dream that I had talked about where it was like, you know, we were talking, to, where it was like these uh, people were talking about my life or something like that. And, and the thing that I kept leaving out was one of those people was commenting that, that, um, I'll probably live up to 90 as far as that goes, but it is like possible with me to live up that long because if I play my cards right, as I said before about all of that, because there, I, I think it's like some of the relatives on mom's side of the family could live up to their 90s, you know. And then, speaking of which, it's like, you know, if Grandma was still alive, if, I think it was her birthday was today, or was it tomorrow, or something like that. You know. And she would be 98 if she was still alive. You know? But she was, like, the only exemption of the rule there. The exception of the rule... Because then, it was, um, I forgot, it was, it was like, I think it was like lupus, but it was also from like anaphylaxis or something like that. Because mom had said that, that she got stung by a bee and, and, you know, never got any better and gotten worse after worse like that. Yeah. But I remember at one point, I think it was around fifth grade where I got stung by a bee. But that was uh, because I was wearing like a, a green and yellow sweater. Yeah. And I think it was like the bee had mistaken me for a flower or something like that. Yeah. So that was the thing there. So, anyways, um, it's kind of weird to think that that, you know, fifth grade was about like thirty years ago. Yeah. But there's a lot of other things that I don't really. I think it's like, I don't really 
uh, comprehend that sort of thing, that it could be that long, you know. You know, whether if it was like 92 was five, it was like 30 years ago, 97 was, was like 25 years ago, and so on and so forth. But that's how it is in some ways, you know. But then, you know, it's like, as soon as I blink and all that, it's going to be 2032. And, and like, you know, we have moved out of the house and, and moved into some house and, like, leisure world or somewhere and all that and all the other little things there. You know, and then the next day after that it'll be like 20, 2042 or something like that. You know, to see if there was like still, um, whatchamacallit, YouTube and all of that, if they'll still exist in that time period. You know, let alone if, uh, if mom is still going to be around or any of the other people are still going to be around. You know what I mean? So that's uh, another thing altogether. So anyways, talk to you guys later.